Hi everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Professor T-Rex and in this video, as promised, I'm going to discuss with you the gameplay of the game Wanaka Farm. Okay, so let's start! <music> Okay, um, just an announcement now after this video guys, there will be a quiz afterwards. So if ever you get a perfect score and uh, you will be rewarded, but we will only have one, uh, one winner. No, okay. Before I talk about the gameplay, I just want to answer this one because a lot of people are asking me, why do you think it is good to invest on NFT games? This is not just about money, okay? When we say investment, because you also invest your time and also your effort and even your intelligence. So for me, uh, we have so much time to spend these days, no? especially on games. I mean, I play a lot <laughs> but back then. And then it's pandemic, and I guess this is the best time. We have so much extra time to play for games, right? And also for entertainment purpose, because we cannot deny that we get bored within the day. So we sometimes resort to a game. And of course, it entertains us for a while. Aside from that... We've been playing games for years, right? I could remember I've been playing games since I was in elementary. And even and and while playing, we acquired items and rewards. Every time we complete quests, we get rewards and items. And how we wish during those days, guys, that we really own those items and then they really become real money, right? Have you ever have you ever thought of that na? Sana itong 50,000 na coins ko dito sa aking account is really real money or I could convert th convert this into real cash, right? Have you ever ever thought of that? And how we wish the items there are really ours that we could sell in the market, right? And guys, this NFT game is is a dream come true for us who wished those during those days. So that's the reason, guys. That's the main reason why I am into NFT games. Okay, so now let's start. Uh, let's start talking about the Wanaka Farm gameplay. Ta-da! But before that, warning guys, okay, Wana and White tokens are not yet released in any exchanges. So our contract addresses are also not yet officially released. So do not buy the token claiming it's Wana or Y. Alright? Beware of scammers, guys. I don't want this to happen to you. So please, please, okay, just wait for the IDO. Okay, so let's talk about the gameplay, how to start. First, you need to create your account, of course. And then second, you have to choose an avatar if you're a female or you're a male. And third, third, <laughs> sorry, you have to connect your wallet. So one of the wallets that we can use will be the MetaMask, all right? And then why do I need to connect my wallet? Yeah, so the wallet will be used to store players' in-game items, okay, your items, and also for transaction confirmations, like if you want to buy and sell your items, all right? And then what are the minimum requirements I need to start playing the game? Well, actually, you will need a LAN to start. But later on, I will answer some of your questions about what if I cannot get a land. all right? So another question, can you choose a land? Okay, well, there are four types of lands, but the first one that will be in the public sale will be the basic land, okay? So we have four types, the basic, the lake, forest, and sea. If uh, Personally, I would really go for the sea <laughs> or the lake, something with water. So I could also do fishing. Okay, next. Will I get the chance to experience the four seasons? It's, it's New Zealand, right? Wanaka Farm. So... Uh, I know some of you are assuming that you can experience the four seasons, the spring, summer, autumn, and winter. Well, not really, guys, but uh, well, some lands might not experience all of the seasons, okay? But the difference is in seasons will create a unique experience because each growing item can be farmed only in specific seasons. So that's it. that is also the advantage if you are in the, in the spring land or summer land. Okay, you have specific items there that are really exclusive for you, which other lands might need or might might want, so they, they, they could also buy from your land, okay? So that's the advantage also. Another, does rarity concept also apply to this game? Yes, if our monsters and pets and other NFT games also have, have the rarities, our Wanaka farm guys also have that concept, okay? So we have the common lands, Diane, and if you level up, your land could become uncommon until rare, legendary, mythical, and immortal. So how can we level up our lands later? I will discuss 
with you all, okay? So, this is the advantage, guys, if you have good rarities of your land. So, if common, you only have 0% of growing boost. So, you really have to, <laughs> to complete quests no, for you to level up and then until you become uncommon. So, you get the 1% to 10% of boosts and so on until you get the immortal level or rarity. Okay? And then, these are the different looks of our lands. Once they level up, we have the common, and common, rare, legendary, mythical, and immortal. Okay? Now, how does my in-game assets look like? So, we have in-game assets, which we can trade in, in Wanaka Farm, okay? So, we have our land, of course, our seed items, growing items, harvested items, product items, and build items. Now, let's discuss what these are. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about seeds. Of course, they are the fundamental assets that players need in order to begin farming, okay, and grow products in the farm. Also, you can create yung sinabi ko na genetically modified seeds, okay, you can also do that. I think agriculturists are very familiar when it comes to genetic, to modifying seeds. Okay, and then you can also uh, put them, uh, you can also put harvested items into the breeding house, okay. And then growing items, these are items, plants, growing pets, okay, that are still in the growing process that are not yet harvested. And each growing item evolves from stage 1 to 3. So you have to wait that they grow from stage 1 to 3 before you can harvest them, all right? And then our harvested items are items that, of course, you have already harvested and they can be traded in Wanaka uh Wanaka marketplace right and harvested items are sometimes necessary to complete quests and also receive rewards yeah another our buildings of course are decoration assets and such as fences our roads and they can also be acquired by participating in special community events in the game okay and there are also some limited items guys like for christmas seasons lunar and lunar new year valentine's day they also have a limited building items for these occasions, all right? Now, can I play this game all day long <laughs> for those who are not busy at all? Well, unfortunately, it, uh, unfortunately, each player has limited working energy per day, okay? So just like real humans, you also have, <laughs> we cannot really work all day long, right? So if you want to improve your productivity rate, you will need to seek new working forces and from other players that have surplus energy to offer or those who don't, who don't have land to farm. So you can hire workers for your land to be cultivated, for your land to be productive. Diba? This is a very nice concept because you can ask other players to work for your land. And I assume that both of you will benefit from that. Okay? Next, how to level up your land. So you can just you can do farming and petting, growing and preparing slots, and then plant trees. You can also irrigate trees, feed and grow pets, and harvest crops. Okay, so there are so many things that you can do here, guys. And then what are the different buildings in my land? Okay, so let's talk about the production house. So this is a facility for players to combine harvested items to get product items. So what are these product items? These are, yeah, it could be bread, it could be meat, it could be milk, it could be cheese. Okay, those are the uh, product items that we are talking about here. Breeding house, once the items are, are harvested, Players also have an option to use the breeding house to create a new genetically modified seed. So this is where you do the breeding. Aside from seeds, guys, you can also breed your pets, okay? So this is the life cycle of the items. So we have here from seed, they grow from stage 1, 2, 3 after completing the stages. They can be now harvested and from after harvesting, you can produce, uh, you can place them in the production house. And then in the production house, you produce items such as milk, cheese, what else, um, bread, and so on. Or if you don't want to, to place your harvested items on the production house, you can just place them in the breeding house. Okay, you can modify your seed. And then you can create a new seed, which you can plant again. So they become growing items again. And the cycle goes on and on and on. Okay, very simple, right? Now, can you summarize what activities I can do in this game? Okay, so as a summary, guys, you can feed and grow your animals, harvest crops and products, produce products, 
seed and pet breeding, ayan, trade land, seed harvested, and product items. Okay. Now, what can I sell in the marketplace then? So these are the things that you can sell. You can sell your own land if you want, your seeds, even your genetically modified seeds, the pets, growing items, harvested items, produced items, and even the building items. Okay, so this is how your marketplace look like. Next, this is how the wanna shop look like. So that's it guys for this video regarding the gameplay and how you will earn and what activities you can do in the game. So uh, if you want to know more about this vlog, I have another video regarding the frequently asked questions. Okay, so before that, I would like to again remind everyone that there will be a quiz. So you just have to answer the quiz in the description below. Okay and get a perfect score for you to be the winner. Okay, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that this video about the gameplay of Winaco Form has been informative. Thank you guys, and have a great day. Bye!